In the last 90 days, I've sold about 96 items on eBay and made over £4,000 worth of income. I want to talk to you guys about what happened, whether it's worth you starting, and ultimately if it's worth the effort. But first, let's talk about the backstory and what initially got me started selling on eBay. eBay selling is something which I've seen people doing recently as a new method to make money. I've always questioned how seriously it can be taken. From a very young age, I have sold on eBay, but it's always been the odd thing here and there, like an old game or a used phone. So I knew that people could make money selling on eBay, but it was a new fact to me that people made full-time incomes by selling on eBay. Even last summer, when I had time off university, I was selling a few things on eBay, but really I was making a couple of sales a week and not that much income. But I thought this summer, as I have time off from university again, why not take the time that I would use to get a job to actually focus that on eBay, and potentially I could see better results and make some serious income. And to be honest, the results haven't been that bad. Like I said, I made about £4,000 in the last 90 days and about 96 sales. The important detail, though, is that 61 of those sales have been in the last 30 days, which shows that the sales figures are rapidly rising, with most of the sales being in the past month, showing that this could possibly go somewhere. But let's talk about what I've experienced in this time period. Now, I have to say, overall, my experience selling on eBay has been very good. Each and every single month of the three has been profitable, and the profit figures have been increasing rapidly. I'll show you these on the screen in a moment, but yeah, it has been a very profitable experience. And to add to that, the amount of effort required isn't really that bad. Maybe about three or four hours a day maximum is what I spend on my store. But you have the other things to think about, such as how are you going to source the products, where are you going to store the products, and obviously dealing with the customer feedback and customer satisfaction. And that's something which you face a lot. If anything, that's one of the main downsides that I've seen on eBay. Most customers are pleasant, but now and again you get that one customer which tries to scam you, rip you off, or do you in some shady way and get you into some sort of trouble. And that's really one of the biggest headaches which I have seen on eBay. Again, most of the customers that I have faced have been really, really good, and I can't say much bad about many of the customers but the thing is it's those couple of customers which are difficult which make the experience that much worse and that is just a shame but really yeah most of the customers have been extremely pleasant and the work required hasn't been too deep it hasn't been too much time at all and it hasn't taken much effort out of my day and to add to that, the amount of income that I've made, especially in the past month or two, really makes it worth it. I mean, when you average out to the amount of hours required per day and the amount of pay that you make if you, if you classify in pay terms, it has been quite good. And if it carries on that way, I definitely would say this is a sustainable business that anybody can start. So like I said, going back to where I started about 90 days ago, I already had an eBay account which made about 30 sales from my previous year, but again, now we're at a point where we've made over 113 sales on this account. So clearly, it's been a big amount of growth. When I started again, I had about 86% positive feedback. That's because one customer left me some negative feedback. And because I didn't really have that much feedback at the time, that affected my account greatly, which was a great shame. If anything, that was one of the main reasons why I gave up on eBay last summer, because of those odd couple of difficult customers, which just make the experience so much worse. This year, though, I decided no matter what happens, as long as this business is profitable and I'm not losing money, I will keep it open for that month. And every single month it has been quite profitable and profits have been growing. This is, to me, maybe a 24-month challenge or a 12-month challenge just to see where this goes. And again, the only way that I would even consider shutting this down is if I was to lose money. But so far, everything has been profitable. Now, there have been a couple of returns, there have been a couple of refunds, and there have been a couple of people, like I said, trying to get some sort of a shady deal and rip me off. And that is a shame. But for the most part, I have had good experiences and I can't complain on that front. But let me actually break this down and show you the figures that I have made over the past couple of months to hopefully give you more of an insight as to what has happened and how this business is growing. So to keep an eye on my profits here, I've set up a little graph. As you can see, I have my start date here, which was the 1st of March. Exactly, I started in the middle of the week. Here we have another chart for Etsy, something which I've not yet started. But here we have the total profit for eBay. And this is something which people make a mistake on. I may have made about 4,000 in revenue, but when we take actual profits into account, this is the real figure that we're looking at. And that is important to note. But let me break down the revenue that we've seen and how things have gone. 
So here's the first month, which will have been March. As you can see, not many sales to report on, from two all the way to 11, so about 10 sales in the first month. Fortunately, there's been no problems here, no refunds required, and everything has been good. So the first month was a profit of 100, so I thought at that point it's worth carrying on. Then we come into the second month, and this is where we see things start to really pick up. So we go from 12 on the graph all the way down to the number 51. So clearly a lot of sales in that period, about 40. Now when we look over here, we start to see our first returns and refunds coming in and problems. So here we have some losses. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to recoup some of the prices here. So obviously I had to take the burden of the actual purchase cost and also the loss on the sale. So some of these were quite painful, £33 lost here, £26 lost here, and a couple of minor losses like this £3 loss over here, and another 20 there. So clearly quite a few refunds this month, not or rather last month, not really too bad. Then it has some other costs, which were for wrapping and other equipment. So that cost me about £18. So my overall profit was about 346 Take away the costs of stuff that I needed, and we have £328 of pure profit in the second month. Not really too bad at all. Now, when we scroll way down into our third month, and this is the current month, we have May. Now, already for May, you're seeing profit figures of 418. And the important thing to note here is that this, this video is being filmed on May the 20th. We still have 10 days to go until the end of May. So clearly, we have a lot that we can still do. And this will probably be over 500, possibly even 600 by the end of May. So what we're looking at here is the chart for May. You're going to be seeing a lot more sales here so far. And remember, this month isn't even over. So, for, so now we're coming from 52 all the way down here. We're going to see 96. So clearly a lot more sales in the past 20 or so days alone. Now let me talk through some of the charts here. As you'll see here, we have one loss. This isn't yet lost, this item is kind of lost in mail, so I'm hoping I can recover this, and if I can recover this, I can then resell it, so this cost here will go away. And remember, if we were to just reduce this cost, we would only lose £5 on this sale, so it would actually be a lot more profit. So hopefully I'll recover that one in the next week or two, but that is apparently lost in the mail, and hopefully I can find it. Now, we've had quite a lot of unproblematic sales here, a few issues. Now, the red bars here are generally things that have been returned or refunded. So this is a red sale. I still made a profit on it because it was a previous month's refund, which I just sold on. I only made one pound on it. However, it was something which otherwise would have been lost and it was just a refunded item anyway. Now, some of these other items I have had to unfortunately refund this month. We've got about one or two more uh, refunds or returns coming back so far. On top of this, which I haven't yet accounted into the chart because they've not been fully solved. But realistically, we're not looking bad. So far, profit at 418. Again, taking into account those refunds and returns, we might be looking at profit more like 400 or 390. So it's still not too bad. But again, these are just the things that come with running an online business. So really not bad figures. And again, the total out here comes up to 849 since the 1st of March. I can't really complain about that. So as you can see, we're not working with an awful profit margin. I think it's going quite well. Obviously, some sales had to be returned and refunded. That's just part of selling a physical product. Overall, I can see this business being something which I want to continue on. And again, if you're wondering how I've done it and whether you can do it, I think you can. So far, what I've been doing is trying to purchase products for under £30. That way, if they do get lost or need to be returned or refunded, I don't lose that much money. And I want to make per sale between 10 and 20 pounds profit. Now on some sales I've given out offers, accepted offers, so my profit margins are more like 10 pounds or less. I really aim for more than five pounds, but ultimately depends on the price of the product. For example, if I buy a product for 15 pounds or 20 pounds and somebody gives me an offer where I make, where I make five or 10 pounds profit, I'm still gonna take that offer because for that item, it's not too bad. But realistically for the items, between 20 and 30 pounds purchase price, I'm looking to make between 10, 15, or even 20 pounds profit, or slightly more. So that's the way that I've been doing it, purchasing items that are not too expensive, that way, if anything goes wrong, I don't lose too much money, and also it gives me a wide audience, but also on top of that, trying to make a decent profit. Anyway, like this video if you enjoyed it. I'm gonna give you some more content talking about my eBay journey and some other things that I've done to try and make money. But yeah, hopefully this is something which you guys can incorporate and hopefully it's something which you can do too. Thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful day.